My name is Tracy Collins. I own Collins Bookkeeping Services. We provide bookkeeping services as well as virtual office solutions. We are your one-stop shop. I am a QuickBooks Pro Advisor, and today I would like to show you how to avoid an invoice in QuickBooks Online. The biggest reason you're gonna want to void an invoice instead of deleting it is because you still want the invoice number and you want it listed in reports. Voiding, voiding an invoice will change the amount to zero. If you void an invoice, it will affect your AR account and your balance sheet. So this is the dashboard. So there are three ways to locate the invoice that you would like to go ahead and void. The first one, you can just go ahead and click this little magnifying glass, which is the search. And then I would click advanced search. And then it, make sure that it says all transactions, reference number, contains, and then the invoice number that you want to go ahead and search for. So as you can see, I searched for invoice number 1018. And it brought up this invoice here. So go ahead and just click on the invoice. And you'll see it's an invoice for $80 for Sushi by Katsuyuki. So all you need to do is scroll down to where it says more. Click the more button. Go ahead and click void. And then QuickBooks will ask you if you are sure you want to void this invoice. And then you would go ahead and click yes. Then it should say transaction successfully voided. And there you have, that's the first way. Now, the second way to go ahead and locate an invoice would be to go ahead and click on your sales. Go ahead and click on invoices. You can locate the invoice that you would like to use by scrolling down here. And we're just gonna use this one here for Jeff's Jalopies, invoice number 1022. And on the right hand side, you see where it says receive payment, but then there's also a little arrow to drop down. So go ahead and click that arrow and you can see there's a, a bunch of different choices. So go ahead and click void. And it will ask you if you are sure if you want to void this transaction. So go ahead and click yes. And there you go. It's went ahead and got removed. Now, a second and third way that you can go ahead and locate the invoice, if you don't know the invoice number, is simply go to sales, customers, and then find the customer. You can do a search for the customer that you want to use. And we're just going to do a search for Bill's Windsurf Shop. And then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to void out this one here um, of voice number 1027. Now you can very easily go over here to the right and go ahead and click, click void there if you'd like. Or you can go ahead and just click on the invoice, open it up, click more and click void. Make sure you say that you do want to void this, click yes. And then it'll say transaction successfully void. And there you have my video on how to void a invoice. If you would like more information in regards to uh, bookkeeping services or virtual office services, please do not hesitate to visit my website at www.collinsbookkeeping.com or shoot me an email at tracy at collinsbookkeeping.com.